Welcome to my channel, Simply Mama Cooks. I'm Angelica, and this is Vlogmas. By the way, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Okay, here we go. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make bistec borracho. And here's the meat. Um, I'm actually going to put the first layer. This is thin cut, like, top round beef. It's not a very tender cut of beef. Um, by the way, if you hear noise in the background, we have someone doing some work around the house. Uh, we're having doors installed, so it might be loud. Okay, so I'm going to put the first layer of beef here, and I'm only working with, it's, an, it's not quite two pounds. Two pounds works for this recipe. So I'm going to take um, my lime and squeeze the juice of half of my lime. I'm gonna be working with like two, two to three limes work for this. And just squeeze the juice, some onion. I need my cilantro here. So I'm gonna take some of my fresh cilantro, I'm just gonna cut it like this. And just with my, kitchen shears, spread it all over. Some garlic powder, onion powder. It's gonna go in with some fresh garlic as well. By the way, it's this yellowish color because I had a whole, a whole bunch of frozen cloves of garlic, so it's still good. Let me finish out this. I'm going in with some paprika. Um, you can use Spanish paprika. I'm going with, uh, it's kind of stuck, some smoked paprika. Here I'm going in with some salt. A little more lime juice. I'm gonna actually just use one whole lime for this first layer. Okay, that's the first layer. Okay, so here's the second layer. It smells great already. Just layer it like onion. Garlic. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Some paprika. Salt. Some cracked black pepper. And now I'm gonna work with the juice of another lime all over the meat. I would say three, three medium limes works for this. Okay. Now the borracho part is your beer. So I'm just gonna take my beer Okay, so this is going to marinate for at least one hour in my refrigerator. I'm gonna cover it with cling film and let it hang out. And before I forget, I'm gonna add my cilantro to the top. Okay, so I'm going to let this marinate. Um, I have a little bit of beer left, so let's do that. That was 12 fluid ounces of beer, by the way. I'm gonna let this marinate, cover it with cling film at least one hour. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. Let that steep until softened. Okay, so the meat has marinated for at least an hour, maybe a little over an hour. And it's 
smells fantastic. So here we are. So what I'm going to do is, now you can sort of stew this and make it kind of like a guisado, but I'm using this for tacos. So I'm going to pan fry this, add some liquid, reduce the liquid that's in the pan, get it soft and tender, and then sear it because I'm gonna chop these up to make tacos today. Anyways, so I'm gonna get started. Okay, so I'm preheating one of the largest pans that I have. And like I said, if you want to slice up a tomato, onion, and add the meat, stew it, uh, saute, stew it with the tomato and onion, you definitely can do that to make a guisado. But I specifically want this to saute, get soft, and then kind of evaporate whatever liquid's left in the pan for tacos tonight. So, I'm going to go right in. So this meat will go through stages. Um, I really do want it to kind of cook on both sides and saute. Will I achieve that? I don't know. The, the temp of the pan drops significantly when you add your meat. And I did have it sitting on the counter for about 15 minutes to take the chill off. But I want to try to fit all the meat in here with one go. By the way, this just marinade with the, the beer smells phenomenal. Now I'm going to add some of the onion and cilantro in here. I'm going to turn this. Okay, so this is what I was waiting on. See how this, the liquid has evaporated. So now we can get some color on the meat. And this is a process technically that I'm doing twice because again, this is just a tough cut of meat. This is what you gotta do. And you can definitely do like a beef run, uh, beef steak ranchero. I've done that. I'll link that recipe video below or somewhere across the screen here in the video. Our good things happening in this pan right now. So now what I'm going to do is add beef broth. Okay, I think this needs to simmer and stew a little bit more. So I'm adding a little more beef broth. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. And that's reduced broth with like the fond from the pan and the onion. Oh, looks amazing. Okay, so this is done. I'm gonna let this rest and then I'm just gonna chop it up into smaller pieces for my tacos. So this looks ready for the blender. Okay, so the noise has died down. I'm gonna put this in here. Jeez, I'm doing this one-handed. There we go. And I peeled the skin off of the garlic, by the way. And you know what? I'm just gonna go in with my kitchen shears and kind of help the tomato along. There we go. And here I have my soaked guajillo chiles. Like I said earlier, I cleaned them, uh, removed stem seeds, rinsed, boiled them for about a minute and let them steep until softened going in. I'm also going to add some chicken bouillon. Things like this are to your taste. I'll go with like a teaspoon. So 
salt here. And I am going to add some of the liquid here, maybe like a half cup. I might need more. And now just puree well or blend. And that's one salsa. I'm going to also make a green one. Okay, so this is right where I want it. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Let that simmer boil for about a minute or so. I'm going to shut off the heat and I'm going to puree. I'm going to add some of the liquid here. And chicken bouillon powder, salt, and here's the green salsa that looks like creamy avocado, but it's not. And if you put too much, it'll melt your face off because it's basically onion, garlic, and jalapeno. And actually, some people just use straight up serrano peppers and those are really hot but so good Okay, so here's what we got for dinner today. And I piled these with a lot of meat, some of the fond and that sauce left in the pan with my salsas. Just dinner's gonna be good. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.